what's up? Just calling to invite you to Joss's for dinner. I'd love it if you swung by. What do you say? Be great to see all you guys. Prime. I heard Joss will be thrilled. Sounds great. I've missed you, you know. Please, River. It hasn't been that long since we last saw each other. Oh, that's true, I guess. Uh, anyway, you'll come by, right? I'll come by, River. See you then. Better Delta. Later. Okay, I'm back. Talk. Please, River. It hasn't been that long since we last saw each other. Oh, that's true, I guess. Uh, anyway, you'll come by, right? I'll come by, River. See you then. Hello, V. Need to talk. Yes, I know. Elizabeth filled me in. Sounds like I was right to hire a professional. Elizabeth, what did she tell you exactly? Didn't get specific. Just that SSI was spying for that son of a bitch Holt. Guess you got more, though. SSI wasn't working for Holt. You're in deeper shit than you think. Meaning? They're in your heads, Jefferson. Yours and Elizabeth's. This some kind of chuckle-worthy metaphor? Strange dreams, partial recall, jumbled memories. It's not just stress and long hours. I don't know what you're trying to tell me, but I don't think I like where this is heading. Wake up! Your brain's a mess. Messier than the discount section of a beady smut hut. I'm not paying you to make up riddles for me, so get to the point. SSI's on the take of some unknown group that's out to control your lives. Know there's a concealed room in your pad? Out with it. They've got tech in there you wouldn't believe. These people know everything about you and your wife, watching your every move. <sighs> Somebody's programming you and your wife. Sounds like something out of the movies. 
Saw your brain scans. They're tweaking your neural connections. This ain't no movie, Jeff. Been at it for a while with you and Liz. Editing your memories, your tastes, your views and beliefs, even. How could I not have known about this? Your memories? Can't even trust those anymore. If that's true, I'll never know what's real in my life and what's a lie, fabricated. Wait, the intruder. I have to find him. Trust me, you never will. First I'll find him, then I'll find whoever's behind this. Pull the curtain back on these motherfuckers and show them what's what. show their hand if you're patient wait long enough or use your mayoral powers if you get elected long as you don't forget all this by morning Sun Tzu's art of war feign weakness so your enemy may grow arrogant don't see you doing much feigning Jeff my god I have to tell Liz your wife knows everything Liz? How? Figured it out at some point? Elizabeth? No, 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 no. She would have said something. She feared for your life, your daughter's life. Who could blame her? Nah. No, she's never kept anything from me. And she doesn't scare easily, believe me. Got an anonymous hollow telling her to keep her mouth shut. So she did what the perfect candidate's wife would do. Protected her family. I won't let them get away with this. Is there anything else I can do? You've done enough already, V. All that's left to do is wait. So what now? Still want to be mayor? Well, I'm not about to give up. I didn't run just to... Uh, I'll wait for my window. An opportunity, then make my move. Isn't that exactly what they want? Well, I'll give them more than they bargained for. The same with the Take care, V. Good luck. Uh, good night. So, thoughts? Hmm, somehow I doubt it's people who are behind this. So, aliens? Very funny. You're too young to remember this, but not so long ago, people talked about rogue AIs prowling cyberspace. So, not it. Doesn't matter who. What matters is that guy decided to take up the gauntlet. My man.
chingada con mi... Huh. I think it was here. Won't take long. How's it going? Over here! Glad you're here. I need your help cooking. What's on the menu? Jambalaya. Come on. <laughs> no way. Uh -huh. Stir the meat. Uh, little baby. soy meat. Okay. Oh no. Maybe Joss would be more help. Joss did her bit. Just grab the damn spoon and start stirring. This is this an ancient Ward family secret? Uh-huh. Onions, paprika, thyme. Just need to mince some celery and garlic. But you stir, please. Stir. Honestly? Thought you were kidding about the cook-off. Or that Joss had sweat away in the kitchen while... Oh. Joss doesn't know the first thing about cooking. Actually, I like to torture foodstuffs. <laughs> Haven't had many opportunities lately. How's Randy holding up? He's looking for his old self. Physically, though, it'll be a long road before he's back to full health. And 
Mentally, that was some experience. What Harris did to him, fucked as this might sound, might have helped the kid. Could be wrong, but feels like a clean Don't mean break to for him. Spoil a nice day, but I gotta ask, what about Peter Pan? You're asking if I killed him. We'll talk later, okay? Sure. No pressure. It's just I. You know. I know. Why you taking now? Why you die? Why you why die? All right. Think you've stirred enough? Mind grabbing the rice from the kitchen? Yes, sir. No, Randy's always been that way. But I'm sure this didn't help none. You know, his father was a difficult man, too. That's exactly what I told him. But he always got the same speech back. Nobody cares about these kids who don't exactly fit the mold. Um, where'll I find the rice? I'll call you back later. Basmati, nice. Đi kìa, hỏi hỏi. Này tính nghe lén không được. Tomatoes in next. Now you can toss in the rice. Rice is in. Okay, now this has to. Nó cơm mà nó bỏ thẳng rồi đéo rửa nữa nè Ăn cái gì trời Ăn chết Grab a chair And a beer or something else It's nice out here Yeah Seems all good Might nothing bad ever happen Tell me now About Harris Thế nào cũng đi giết nè I paid him a visit at the hospital He's still in a coma? Yep. In a strange slumber between life and death. An empty shell in a hospital bed. One shot to the head. Quick and clean. I had the same thought. It would be so easy. I pressed the gun to his head and remembered something. River. When my parents died. Sure, you want to hear this? You know, probably not the best time. No, we were going to do the nice, relaxing thing. Uh, sounds heavy. This. Okay, yeah, you're probably right. Just Harris. What did you do? Had the gun to his head and. I've ended a few lives in my time, but never like that. Never an execution. Slipped out of the hospital quick. Told myself the case was closed. That's good, but when now? You're not going back to the PD? PI has a nice ring to it. Who knows? Uncle River, we'll you said you'd play with us. You promised. All right, all right. Let's go. Me? You join us? What are we gonna play, Uncle River? You'll see. Dorian, we're playing! Yeah, big trouble in Haywood. Grab yourself. Could be fun. Well, well. Nice firepower there. This is no time to get distracted. We can't let that filth get away. Who? Oh, well, look at you. Me? 
Allow me to introduce Captain Joan McLean and Lieutenant Henry Callahan. They're our precinct's best and brightest. Wouldn't want to get in their way. I always work alone. No exceptions. Even for you. Yeah, me too. Oh, I've heard of cops like you. The lone wolf type. That's right. Thorns in their commander's side. Rebels who play by their own rules. I've been suspended one time, retired two times, and kicked off the force three times. I'm getting too old for this. But something always drags you back. The city needs me. All right, let's get to it. All right. All we gotta do is track down El Chamuco El Diablado and take out his lackeys along the way. He'll pay for his crimes. We'll play like two teams, us and the kids. But we work toward the same objective. The team with the best result wins. You don't stand a chance. A.V., just go easy, okay? It's their favorite game. Sure. you got Is ready. Mm, but mom, you almost had him. Oh, you'll get him next time. At least we beat the grown ups. We're the best. Thanks for letting them win. They had fun. No, <laughs> they're great kids. It's no problem. Seems they took a liking to you, too. Hey! Food's on the table.
So, was your game fun? Awesome! <laughs> we kicked their big butts! The bad guys? Huh? Oh, yeah, the bad guys, too. Time to see if this tastes as good as it smells. Unemployment's being good to you. You seem good. River's discovering the joys of family life. That and police duty. Never a good mix. This here's a way to get some of those years back. I haven't seen him this... untroubled in a while. What about you, V? You got a family? Or just relations? Used to be a nomad, but family fell apart. Years ago, feels like. Well, you brought my family back to me, and I'm grateful. If you say so, Joss. And my brother likes you. Joss? Well, why hide it? Come on, Joss. You don't see wedding bells in my future, surely? Why not? Who thinks me and Uncle River make a good couple? Well, that's decided. Got an 1199. Officer needs backup. Come on, pull you out of this ambush. Thanks, Joss. Yeah, thanks. Whew, situation was getting dicey. That's what partners are for. You were about a hair's breadth away from having to look at photo albums. This a romantic stroll, by chance? Not about to pick you flowers, that's what you're asking. Here we are. What are we looking at? A water tower. Great spot. Great for what? For, you know, the views. The views? Right. This way. Oh, fuck. Gate stuck again. Uh, yeah, they have to fix it one of these days. Let me give you a boost. Climb yeah. over, open it from the other side. Yeah. Okay. Good. Just push. Okay. On our way. The area's not bad, actually. Unlikely to dazzle. Make a good first impression, though. Certainly no Corpo Plaza. No. But life's livable here. No worse places to raise kids. Randy's problems with the law. Those didn't pop out of thin air. True. But Randy takes after his old man. He'd find trouble in a nicer neighborhood, too. Apparently the worst <coughs> city between Shit. the Atlantic and the Pacific. But I sure do love this view. Find it calming. I don't know, River. Scrapers kinda clutter it up for me. Got something for you? Wow, uh, what's the occasion? Aiming to close a door. A stage of my life is done. This thing holds too many memories. Won't let me do that. It'll serve you better. Thank you. Just promise you won't blow your foot off. 
oddly specific request. Josh's husband did it. Drunk. This very spot. Which made this your special spot. Family landmark? Something of the kind. All right, V. You know why we're here, don't you? Say you do. Please, don't string me along. That the pickup line you settled on? Because maybe heard three in my life that were worse. And just a little at that. Wouldn't mind hearing them. Yeah. Happy to oblige. So I'm at a bar, and this gonk taps me on a shoulder and says, here I am, baby. You got two wishes left. What'd you say? Spoke my second wish. That he would fuck off. Was there a third? Mm-hmm. Wished him a speedy recovery. Broken arm. Merciful, I'd say. Will you swallow? Beautiful. <laughs> you serious? This guy and I. Sitting in a diner. Five minutes, he gapes at me. Not a word. Then, drops that bomb. Oof. I'll fuck you for free. <laughs> what? Got a contract. To pull info out of a gigolo in a tech mink fedora. It was weird. He was... Spilling. And then, he pulled that one out of his hat. A candid and generous proposal, V. You should have at least considered it. Okay, last one was good. You know, woman once told me I have sexy calves. That's it? Just like her boyfriend's. Before he lost his legs in the war. Yikes. She was right, though. I do have great calves. Listen, River. If you expect this to evolve, Somehow. Don't stand a chance, do I? Maybe we keep it at friends? Yeah. Sure. All right. We can still have a drink. Something strong's sure to hit the spot. Now that I understand. To friendship. To friendship. Got any more of that? Two bottles of whiskey and a case of beer ought to be enough. We'll see about that. Buckle your liver in. Gonna be a long night and a longer morning. for hangovers. Well, at least we had fun yesterday. Yeah. Uh, but now I gotta roll. Promised Joss I'd take her to see Randy. No rush either. Get your sea legs back. Take as much time as you need. You sure you're good to drive? <sighs> Please. Former NCPD. <clears throat> I'm a pro on hangover highway. I'll be fine. 
Tell Randy, hey. Will do. See you later, V. Một cuộc cũng xong nhiệm vụ của ông này Làm vụ này chán không chết Có mỗi cái đời hình là hấp dẫn Mình cũng nhận được là nên quyết bị thiệt Bây giờ qua với Pan Am Pan Am Pan Am Chỉ mới đi Okay. I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go All ready to go? Hey, V. No, not yet. Carol still needs to check if Militech left any ice in the system. Corpos haven't shown up in person to report the loss? No, I think we managed that. We left the trucks with the big Corpo logos down by the rabbit camp. <laughs> which was almost as much fun as leaving a bag of flaming dog shit on their doorstep. Fuck, made it look like he just came back from a Corpo War tour. Nice touch. Everything's fine. Clean as a whistle. And so, what about him? Nothing, for now. We're staying out of each other's hair. So he's not planning a family council? Of course he is. He just wants to keep me in the dark a while longer. Always wanted to take one of these suckers for a spin. Which is exactly how all those naive gonks landed at the front. Didn't even need to be recruited. They just showed you the tech. Come on, hop in. Everything is set. Anybody get this thing up and running earlier? Maybe you Everything gotta... is dandy. Give me a moment. Oh, yes! It's not the latest model, but Mitch and Bob did what they could. What do you think? Well, at least now I know why people call them coffins. You steer directly from your seat. All you have to do is jack in. What, no knobs, buttons, blinky doodads? No, none. The impulse runs directly to your cerebral cortex. In a sense, the basilisk becomes an extension of your body. It's like a mystical oneness. Ever piloted anything like this? No. Why? Don't you trust me? Can I still get out? No. Then I trust you. Well, if it's so mystical and shit, why the co-pilot? Extra support? I'll tell you once we're a bit further from camp. We'll practice. Okay. If 
you want full functionality in an engagement, you need a second person to handle sensory overload. One pilot steers, the other handles the gun. It's oddly pleasant. You'll see. Okay, this will do fine. A dry run first. I'll disconnect for now. Doesn't need two pilots? You won't be steering and firing. Are you ready? Pan Am? Is this, uh, as designed? Neural synchronization doesn't happen at the snap of one's fingers. It'll be over soon. There. See? Okay. Starting to understand what you meant. Warm up. Don't worry. I'm not gonna watch. Just put it through a few turns. Soft, right? Same as a boat. Mm -hmm. She'll fly right over any bumps. All types of terrain. Head towards that wreck. All right. I can see you've grown bored. Now take her along the line of turbines. When I say so, swerve right or left before the last of them. All right. No, not yet. They don't let me do it. <laughs> What's on the menu? Don't get excited. The Basilisk is a cargo ship by design. But it should still be a good time. All right, blast those wrecks. Good! Better than dirt now. I'm going to connect. It could feel strange. Meaning... Basilisk pilots have to be fully synchronized. That means our nervous systems will be... Okay. It's as if you booked a room with two beds, but got a double bed with a blanket wide enough for half. Okay, let's try this. Guess I'll get to know you better than I'd planned. All right. Let me just say, it can be difficult at first. You'll experience feedback, sensory echoes as our systems overlap. Probably comes naturally in combat. Mm-hmm. Right. Starting now.
watch on his or her must think first and foremost of what's good for the family. Come on, Saul. If I have to leave the clan, please just say so. Spare me another speech of yours at the very least. I'm afraid you'll have to sit through a few more. Because from this day forward, you will lead this family by my side. I will what? I wish to do this properly, but fine. Have it your way. I was wrong. You were right. That's the truth. May it never happen again. But I... I, I made a mess of so many things. You said... I know. But I changed my mind. You risked everything for this family, not even knowing whether you'd be welcome the next day. Okay. Okay. Well, I... Many things will have to change. Yes, and to start with, we need to leave this place. Quickly. We can't wait for Militech to find us. Of course. I will prepare our route. Congratulations. Terrible choice. I voted nay. Thank you. Thanks. I need to cool down, I think. Will you come with me? An interesting day. I feel as if I barely evaded a rapidly approaching train. It's pretty close. I don't know if I could have done it without you. <laughs> Come on. No, I'm serious. We all owe you. So you can count on me, all the Keldas. Always. Good to know. Nobody's behind the bar. That I like. Beer? Lemonade? Beer me. To happy endings. Let's Gonna miss our little you. escapades. Me too. On the other hand, though, who said this one was our last? V, look around. Look at them. They could be your family. Panem, what do you... Stay in camp. Join us. This life? It's not for me, Pan Am. I tried it once. Didn't work. Bullshit! You don't know what it would be like this time. I do. I'm telling you now. All right, V. I shouldn't drop bombs like that on you right now. I just thought... Uh, forget about it. I'll think it over. I... What happened to her? V? Nam, I... V, relax. Everything is okay. How do you feel? What happened? I remember I... We were talking, then suddenly... You passed out. Completely. We took you with us. Where? Somewhere new. We moved camp. Don't worry, we are safe here. For now. You ain't dying yet. V, you have to tell me what is happening. 
The blood. You were out for hours. What's wrong? Pan Am, I... It's getting worse. Every single day. Okay, B, relax. Take it bit by bit. What is happening, exactly? To tell you the whole truth, I'm afraid things won't be the same between us if I do. B, cut the crap and tell me what's going on. I'm worried. You know, Johnny Silverhand? Yes, they sometimes play those oldies on the radio. Why? That's just it. Johnny's alive. He's sitting in my head. He's what? Am, am I not? Is this some sort of strange metaphor? <sighs> Long story. Got a job, fucked it up. Now Silverhand's personality construct's sitting in my head. Bullshit. Yeah, well, he's not too happy about it either. Turns out we don't really mix. And it's getting worse. You are not joking. Just trying to live with it. Survive, actually. It's certainly not doing wonders for your health. I gotta go. Feeling better. Really. Wait. I will go with you. I thought I heard that voice. Hey, Mitch. Finally. We were worried. Took good care of your ride. She's over there. But you're not. Is everything okay? Much better now. Thanks for your help. I'm glad to hear it. Thanks. I'll stick around for a bit. Make yourself at home. Remember, our offer still stands. If you need help, the Aldecaldos are here for you. Then that, at least, we can agree on. If you need anything, you know where to find us. Want me to walk with you? I know this area, back from the old roots. You're really safe here, though? For now, yes. Militech does not venture this far. And our vantage points really are much better. Hey, welcome back to the land of the living. About time Sleeping Beauty decided to join us. Hey there. But you know, everything here, it is temporary. All of it. We will soon have to decide what comes next. V, back to what we were saying. I will not even pretend to understand. I don't think it has even sunk in yet. But I am serious. How can I help? Honestly, not a clue. But there has to be something. Someone who can... Remember Hellman? He's the one who created the personality construct tech. That's why you wanted to get him. But it was a dead end. Now I have to figure out where to go next. You'll find a way. And once you do, let me know. I will help. This whole family will help. Saul was not joking. You understand? Thanks, Panam. <laughs>